Hi, this is Talon Jane. This is FTT214, week four, assignment two, which is the final assignment for the check hand checkering lab. We're gonna be finishing up my ridiculous pattern that I put onto this thing and made it as hard as I could on myself. And uh, hopefully creating somewhat of a finished product. And then uh, we'll go over, uh, you'll be able to see all the subsequent lines cut uh, we'll deepen those lines and then you'll see me finish it with the uh, blend of the true oil and the uh, mineral spirits, which seems to suck it up real good. So um, with that, we'll go ahead and get started. There's not a lot to see here, so um, I will go ahead and just focus the camera and you can watch most of this and fast forward. So please enjoy. Boom. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, we are through with the first go round of uh, putting in the horizontal lines as well as kind of deepening them a little bit. So uh, you can see we've got that going. Not perfect, but not bad. Uh, next, we're going to start putting in the vertical lines, which I'm just using that as a differentiation, the vertical and horizontal, since it's, they're kind of at an angle either way, but. So far where we're at, let's see here. I'm getting there. It is checkered, so uh, next step will be basically going over all of this again um, two or three more times until satisfied and the pattern looks more even. So only a couple little uh, parts where went out of the bounds or whatever. I've struggled to color in the line since I was a kid, so. Obviously, if you watch my videos, you know I do struggle with color inside the line. So, either way, uh, I'm going to try and start cleaning this up. And I'll probably get out the rotary tool and go around these and try and clean those up a little bit. But I'll probably wait to the end to do that so that if I keep nicking them with my checkering, it doesn't do any more damage. So, Alright, that's it for now. We're back for day two of this. Took a break finished with most of the initial checkering I'm going to start going back through and basically deepening the diamonds and I'm going to try and figure out a way to clean up my swirls where all of the little nicks kind of got into it so
So after I'm kind of just putting a quick layer of that finish over the top, it looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, the curlies are still the struggle. So again, if you're, if you're doing this, I would avoid doing any kind of these spirals because it's just, it's just real hard to get any kind of in there, you know, clear back up into here or whatever. But in general, it doesn't look, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It's not something I would want on my own firearm, which means it's not something I would ever sell, but, uh, yeah, it's not terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it deepen a little bit more, or deepen it up a little bit more, and then put another layer of finish on and see where we're at. All right, we're finished up. Uh, this was a multiple day process, but it was mostly because I kept getting fed up with it and walking away, uh, which is probably for the best because every time I came back to it, I was like, eh, it's not so bad. Um, you know, good friends look at it and be like, oh, it looks great, but you know, if I was to be honest, I probably wouldn't sell this to somebody, but for a first time with my own design, uh, I think it turned out all right. So that's what we ended up with there. Um, specifically the, the diamond, the checkering itself doesn't look too bad. The swirls that I did, um, I wouldn't do that again. Um, had I omitted these from this inside portion, I think this would have looked a lot cleaner. So learn from my mistakes and don't do swirls if you're taking this class or really anything with a tight curve. And if you do, make sure you get some other tools. Um, I highly recommend that Dimbart Master uh, Kit. It's a good kit. Um, I missed putting on the multiple layers of this finish. I ended up having to do several because the mix that I did, the 50-50 blend of the mineral spirits and the true oil, it would dry and not be quite as, uh, didn't have quite the same luster as the rest of the stock. But overall, I'm happy with the way this turned out. The stock looks good. Um, you know, the checkering looks all right. I don't think I'm gonna end up putting it on a firearm. I think I'm gonna turn it into a lamp for my gun shop. So we'll drill a hole through the whole thing and put a lampshade over the top. Maybe it'll hide some of that ugly checkering, so. With that being said, uh, appreciate the class, appreciate the knowledge, and uh, good luck to everybody else in your future endeavors. Thanks, bye.